All right, so this is Brian's big day. Um, tell you a little bit about Brian. So Brian, in 1990, 1995, he was an explorer with LAPD. And then he moved up to dispatch. Does anybody know that, or does everybody know that Brian Messina was a dispatcher mm -hmm. For, fo for four years. Yeah. yeah. So nice to and that explains uh, the radio. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes. Yeah. Uh, and then 1999, went to the Rio Hondo Police Academy, graduated with honors. Second in my class. Second in your class. Yeah. And then went to the uh, LA Airport Police Department for another uh, two years until he made a better decision and came to <laughs> the city of Gardena uh, in two August of 2001. Yeah. So then from 2003 to 2007, he was an FTO, he was on our bike team, he was an Explorer Advisor, he was on a South Bay Platoon, and then 2007, uh, he was a detective, pretty much did everything back there, auto theft, fraud, robbery, homicide, and then in 2011 became a sergeant. And so for the last 13 years, You've been a supervisor. He's been a uh, patrol watch commander, He's been in charge of our uh, SEU uh, team. He was on our AB 109 task force. Um, and he was been the DB sergeant, done a very good job back there. Um, and now it brings us to June 2024, right? Don't say that. I'm going to say it Don't anyway. <laughs> I said, hey, Brian, give me a little synopsis of your career here and he said no problem chief I'll get it and so I, I just read off what he put me and then June 2024 end of law enforcement career that's the thing about Brian Brian is a uh, he's a very personable guy and as you can see from so many people in the room today um, he relates to everyone here and he really exemplifies what Gardena PD is about and so, um, without question, during the process, uh, the testing process, and also his career, um, it's, it's clear that you have all the hows of what it makes to be a police lieutenant. All of those responsibilities he's been through, he's cycled through, and he knows that. And so really the question as he was going through the testing process and then in conversations with him is, do you understand the whys, why it is, and, and what that means to be a police lieutenant. And clearly, from my conversations with him, the answer to that is yes. But what does that mean specifically? What it means is that, as a police lieutenant, it puts you in a unique perspective in this organization to start understanding how all of these details, all of which you've been in charge of, tie together. And what the ultimate goal is, is to put the best product that we can, right, out on the street, like right? serving each other, and serving the community. And I think Brian really understands that. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to him being a big piece of our uh, executive management team. So this is, this is a great day for him, great day for the family, great day for PD, but really a great day for me because I get to see this, all of this experience um, come to fruition and really help us get to where, where we need to go. So this is a great day. Now, I also want to point out, just walked in, our mayor, who's here, who's a friend of Brian Messina, uh, who came to honor you as well. So we got everybody here for you today. So now the time has come. Any regrets? Any regrets? He's talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> Any regrets? <laughs> That's not too late. Right. Now the time has come, the big moment. Who will pin on your promotional badge? I think the boy's going to do it with the assistance of my wife. All right, here you are, sir. Thank you. Oh my lord, it's so clean. It's clean. It's shiny. You're getting back to me because I took your <laughs> Xbox away, all right? <laughs> <laughs> See the Christmas card. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
law enforcement code of ethics your certificate of employment. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All, right. All right, please address your department. Sure, never really thought I'd see this day, for sure. Uh, thanks, Chief. Um, first, thanks to God, because he controls everything. Glory be to God. Chief, thanks for all your guidance and wisdom. <clears throat> you know, leave me on this list for a year. It's taught me patience and understanding like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> 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 and, and thank you for keeping my introduction, you know, short but robust, just like me. And uh, not the good pastor to our PBS special, because we all want to go eat pancakes. <laughs> so I'll keep this short and sweet, uh, even shorter than a lieutenant's work week. Um, <laughs> Diana, Diana, I'm totally, they're totally jokes, totally jokes. So, of course, you know, we have to deal with, you know, a lot of brutal stuff out there. Well, I don't, I just gave that up about 30 seconds ago. <laughs> Cops in general have to deal with a lot of brutal stuff, so we know that when it's a happy occasion and a controlled occasion, I like to take nothing seriously, so forgive me if I offend you. Um, so I'm just going to say thanks to a few people. Captain Fox, Todd. Even though when you call me, my first thought is, what does this guy want now? And I go run in the bathroom. You're killing me. Um, even as you've climbed the ladder of success, we've, uh, we've got hired together, and you've always been one of my biggest supporters, and I consider you a true friend. Thank you very much. Where's Vince? Vince, I don't see you as much, comma, but uh, when I do see you, uh, you're always full of uh, delightful treats and cholesterol filled. Yes. And you know what? That more than makes up for your cold, emotionless emails. <laughs> so, I've been a sergeant a long time, and uh, I'm, it's about time I learned something new. I'm going to join uh, the middle management team. It's kind of kind of nerve-wracking. you got to learn something completely new. But I was invited to a few management meetings, and got to spend some time with them. And uh, I realized that the caliber and cadre of that group, you know, makes me feel like if they can do it, I could totally do it. So. <laughs> where, where are my detectives at? Where, where are my DB at? Raise your hand, my DB. Everybody knows I love my detectives. The investigations is what I do. It's so much so that I started a private investigation firm so that I can detective after I retire. That's how much I love investigations. I'm going to miss each and every one of you, like you wouldn't believe. It's gonna be hard. There's no more big Sarge. Like it's, so, you know, a couple of you asked me, well, what, "What are we gonna call you?" I said, "Well, I can't think of anything." I, I thought maybe double XLT. Oh, Vince. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a T-shirt, but it doesn't roll off the tongue very well. So I was like, "Yeah." That. And then I thought, "Oh, big bars." <laughs> but my reputation with alcohol, that's not gonna work either. So <laughs> we'll have to come up with something, you know, as it goes. So, but I love all of you guys. Everybody's contributed to my success. Um, I like never thought I would be up here. Um, of course, last, I have to always address my, my true family, uh, my beautiful wife, Daisy. Um, some of you don't know, uh, the testing process for lieutenant is, is generally pretty rigorous. Uh, I didn't have that experience. All my experience, all my hard work, all my sleepless nights was before to get me into you know doing three, three years of schooling in three months. So doing seven days work, school work seven days a week, yelling at my poor daughter who just wanted to play, and I'm yelling, get out of my face, I gotta do this schoolwork. Um, they put up with a lot for three months, and I don't know how they didn't just leave me, because I probably would have. Um, so I owe them everything. This day is, is just, their day, just as much their day as it is mine. Um, it's been a good year for me I, with this promotion. Um, we just closed on a house. You know, I have a beautiful, happy, healthy family. Uh, I couldn't ask for more. Um, but, we all know in our profession, I, I keep calling Daisy my wife, right? But really, she's my acting wife, you know, kind of like an acting lieutenant. You know, we're kind of married on paper, but we're not. So, Daisy, would you come up here? Oh, quick, please. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I'm, hoping, I'm hoping that today is not the only promotion that's going to happen right now. So, Daisy, would you like to be promoted to my actual wife? Oh. <laughs> Dang it, I told Ray Beeman I was going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Um, 
It's a little early. I brought you out here really early for this. Uh, it's too early for the taquero and the modelo, so uh, I'm still hungry. Thought, thought we'd do something a little different. So if you go to the back lot of the PD, there will be a pancake bar with some with all the fixings. If you just want a little snack to get you through to lunch, okay? Thanks everybody for taking time out of their day, and I love you all. for being here. Uh, good luck to whoever gets promoted next to try and overcome that one. <laughs> we'll see what you got lined up. That next Why are you so. crying, Lord? Thank you for being here. We'll see you guys out for pancakes.